And my name is Vitaly Stendesnikov, and I would like to share uh, my master thesis outcome on topic analysis of cloud computing trends and business models. So I would like to start with motivation. So um, as you can observe that 80% annually spent just to keep infrastructure up and running. So basically only 20% uh, are left for upgrades and some innovation implementation. With the advent of cloud, so the game has changed and uh, you you letting professionals work and uh, care about your infrastructure and be more focused on business, on your business. Uh, problem statement. Latvia has big potential and IT sphere, despite the fact of computing solution not widely used because of following uh, key points. Lack of information, lack of advertisement of existing solutions, and lack of uh, decision to source available in native language that could be very uh, suitable for uh, uh, native employers. The aim of research is uh, to compare global and local cloud computing models, analyze them, uh, provide these conclusions and propositions uh, uh, of applicable cloud computing solutions in the Latvian market. The following tasks were performed. So, comparison of cloud computing deployment models, uh, the research uh, and analysis of cloud computing awareness in Latvia and related uh, aspects, and analysis of cloud providers' infrastructure. Uh, what is cloud computing? So, this is cloud, uh, cloud computing model which enables uh, a possibility to uh, outsource uh, basically cost uh, infrastructure, uh, computing resources, uh, which should require following uh, requirements. So it should be on demand, uh, should be ubiquitous, uh, convenient uh, and accessible wherever uh, internet is available. A resource, uh, should be, uh, the resources should be pooled, so it basically means that uh, uh, infrastructure can be shared between multiple customers. Uh, so it should be scalable, so on demand, and measurable services for billing purposes. Uh, those are uh, main cloud computing deployment models. So private cloud is basically dedicated uh, private deployment. Uh, in, in case of in-source, it resides on your data premise, uh, on your premises, so within your own data center, and it could be also outsourced and deployed within public uh, cloud provider site. Uh, public cloud, uh, basically, uh, all, all resources deployed and uh, resides in public, public, uh, public uh, provider site, uh, but it gives uh, elimination of capital expenditures and uh, reduces uh, uh, operational expenditures. Hybrid uh, solution allows uh, to use a uh, mix uh, between private and uh, public cloud. And community cloud basically is dedicated cloud solution. Uh, let's, uh, if I can say that it's fine-tuned for particular customers and then later it could be multi-shared between different customers. Uh, those are uh, main uh, uh, cloud computing service models. Uh, Software is a service more dedicated for end customers. It's resides and completely controlled by cloud computing site. Platform as a service is used for those who, uh, who would like to uh, use cloud computing for production. So it gives additional uh, customizable uh, approach. Then you can build your own infrastructure by using predefined, pre-configured blocks. And if you need to build your infrastructure from scratch, that infrastructure and service is your case. Uh, examples of service models. So basically, I try to. Uh, uh, I decide at the very beginning that talking about cloud and don't even try what is that and how it works, it, it's not very good. So basically, uh, for more details, you, you are able to uh, watch how I, um, I create account from A to Z 
to, to show different uh, service models. So basically, eData uh, provided by Microsoft or by La Telecom, so as software as a service, and also there is inside for platform as a service provided by Microsoft Windows Azure and also Amazon uh, capabilities uh, which provide infrastructure as a service. Uh, cloud security. Uh, so those are main parts which should be considered uh, when you are going for a cloud solution. So basically what privacy assurance, what mechanisms are used uh, to assure privacy, physical and personal uh, control, basically what is, <coughs> how is uh, cloud computing premises controlled and, uh, and of course availability of resources is very important. So basically uh, guaranteed uptime uh, and business con uh, continuity and data recovery, what mechanisms are used uh, and how it works. And of course level of issues is very important. So basically you have to know what control details are included, what cloud provider assures and of course what data protection law are in place according to the uh, location. Uh, do, do they, if for instance, if your data center resides uh, deployed um, in America, for instance, so there is additional data protection law, the Cyber Oxley Act and um, Health Insurance and Portability and account Accountability Act uh, stay in force. And of course, uh, additional approval from third parties, so which shows unbiased, unbiased uh, proves that all uh, all controls are in place, implemented efficiently, and uh, used according to standard. And of course, uh, additional additional um, approach, what is very important, so is data encryption, what is used to ensure. Uh, by uh, data security. Nothing happened.